All right, today I'm going to explain you on KM VMAX concept and also I will give you, uh, I will explain how to solve problems using michaelis menten equation and uh, some of the uh, concepts related with competitive or non-competitive inhibition. So let's uh, understand what is KM. So I'm drawing a figure here with the x-axis which indicates substrate concentration and y-axis indicates initial velocity of the reaction. Now, as you go on giving the substrate concentration, substrate, as you go on increasing the substrate, keeping enzyme concentration constant, so your velocity curve goes something like this. Because you are keeping your enzymes constant, but continuously increasing the substrate, so at some point in time, enzymes will get saturated. It means they will reach their maximum velocity. So, it, they will take a plateau stage and wherever they take a plateau stage, you bring that point to y-axis and wherever it meets on the y-axis, we refer that point as Vmax, that is the maximum capacity of that set of enzymes. Now, take half of that Vmax, half of the maximum velocity and say this is the half of the maximum velocity and take that line, interpolate it to the velocity curve, bring it down to the x-axis. Wherever it meets on the x-axis, we call that as Km of that particular enzyme. And Km is a signature of an enzyme for that particular substrate. It doesn't change. Okay. Now let's understand, it means by definition, Km is a substrate concentration at which enzyme reaches half of the maximum velocity. This is the half maximum velocity, half Vmax, half of the maximum velocity. Okay. Km is the substrate concentration at which enzyme reaches half maximum velocity. Now let's understand what is the exact meaning of Km here. Km for each enzyme they are different. So before I explain what is exact uh, the meaning there. So let's see the Km. If the Km is equals 0 0.05 millimolar. The Km is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 millimolar. Especially for glucose. Say hexokinase enzyme. Hexokinase. Hexokinase has got 0 0.05 millimoles of glucose for, as its Km. It means at 0 0.05 millimolar of glucose, hexokinase reaches its half the maximum velocity. Now let's take another example. Km of glucokinase is 5 millimolar, which is 100 times more than hexokinase. 5 millimolar moles of glucose for glucokinase. Glucokinase. So for glucokinase, Km is 5 millimolar, which is definitely higher than what is required for hexokinase, 100 times higher. So at 5 millimoles of glucose, your glucokinase is reaching half the maximum velocity. Now what is the meaning of this? It means Km indicates when the enzyme is going to be active. So any enzyme that have got low Km, like exokinase having low Km, so it has got a higher affinity. Enzyme having low Km has got higher affinity, higher affinity for glucose. Whereas enzyme which has got high Km, it has got low affinity, lower affinity. It means hexokinase will be active when there is, when, even when there is low blood glucose is available in the blood. Whereas glucokinase will be active only when there is plenty of glucose is present in the blood. It basically indicates, Km indicates when the enzyme is going to be active. Just to give you an example, consider that I am eating only when there is plenty of food available. If there is no, if the food is not plenty, so I am not going to eat. I will just leave it for somebody else. So whether I am eating or not, it all depends on how much is the food that is, uh, that is available. If more food is available, I am going to eat. If less food is available, I am not going to eat. So what decides enzymes to be active or not, it is about the concentration of its own substrate. Any enzyme which has got low Km, it is going to be active even if there is a less substrate is available. Any enzyme that has got high Km, so it will be active only when there is more substrate available. This is what is the Km and it stops there. And it did not, it doesn't say 
when the enzyme is active how much food it's going to consume i did not say when the food is available how much i am going to eat i may eat two three, two plates three plates four plates that's my capacity how much i am going to eat so km simply says when the enzyme is active it doesn't say how much substrate it's going to consume and that part will be coming from vmax so vmax says how much is the substrate that is consumed by the enzyme okay it means it says how many plates of food i am going to eat whenever i am getting uh, whenever i have a plenty of food available how many plates i am going to eat so that's my ability that's my capacity so vmax indicates the capacity or the ability of enzyme to consume substrate so hexokinase it will it will have a lower vmax whereas glucokinase will have a higher vmax it simply says that hexokinase will use less substrate when it is available because it's going to saturate early whereas glucokinase will use more substrate convert that into product and that's what the and it has got a high vmax it's going to convert glucose into glucose 6 phosphate as long as you are providing glucose okay that is what comes from the vmax so km says when the enzyme is active vmax says what is the capacity or the ability of that particular enzyme that's about k and vmax